Sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm just trying to figure out how all my different screens work. You know, I got my tablet, twins, I got my computer, I got my phone, and I got my headphones. So many screens! It feels like everything nowadays is on some sort of screen. TV, YouTube, Animal Crossing, talking to my friends, talking to my mom, going to school, even going to church. Are any of you getting bored by all this screen time? I know I am. <gasps> Wait a second. I have a brilliant idea. What if, instead of talking about normal bible Jesus things on the computer this fall, what if we talked about things that we can feel, that we can smell, and that we can experience that isn't on a screen. Okay, so that sounds nice, but what even is there to talk about that doesn't involve a screen? I'm so glad you asked because that's an excellent question. Maybe we could talk about things like water, dirt, food, animals, trees, sticks, grass, leaves, fish, pine cones, bread, birds, rain. I love all these things. But wait, why would we do that? Why would we talk about things that we can touch and feel and smell rather than like normal bible story type things? Well, let me tell you. When most of our life revolves around screens, like it does right now with all this coronavirus going on, it's easy to forget that there's this whole other world right outside our window that we can experience with our whole bodies. We can crunch leaves. We can dig for worms. Woo! We can even feel the wind tickle our faces. And science tells us that the more we get outside and experience the natural world, God's great big creation, the more our brains help us feel happiness, love, and empathy. So basically what you're saying is that being outside makes you a nicer, more compassionate person? That's right! So you may or may not remember last week when Mr. Donkey and I talked about this super fun new thing we're gonna do with Genesis Kids and Teens this fall. It's called Genesis Family at Home. At home. And I tell ya, this is something you're not gonna wanna miss. For the next three months, we're gonna learn about some things that help connect us to God's creation. Like this month, we're going to learn about some of the water stories that are in the Bible. And next month, we are going to learn about some of the harvest stories in the Bible that talk about plants and food. And then after that, we're going to talk about some silly animal stories in the Bible. And get this, this Genesis family at home thing is going to be a lot more than just watching my face talk to you on a Sunday morning. If your family signs up online to participate, which it's totally free by the way, you get some pretty fun things like a fancy new tote bag your whole family can decorate, a cool new sticker to put on your laptop, your school notebook, or maybe your water bottle. You'll also get a coupon for ice cream time with Allie. Oh wait, that's me. And the best part is, drum roll please, you'll get a whole list of games, snacks, activities, snack activities, science experiments, and art projects to do with or without your parents' help that goes along with our various naturey, outdoorsy, creation-y Bible stories that we're learning that week. <laughs> wow, sign me up. So for example, one of our stories this month is the story of when Jesus was baptized. 
and there may or may not be some water balloons involved. Or another one of our stories this month is when God parted the Red Sea to let Moses and the Israelites walk through. And there may or may not be an excessive amount of shaving cream involved. We'll see. So, to find out more about this super fun adventure, check out the registration page on our website. It's got some FAQs. Fashionably acquired quails? Frequently applauded queens? Oh, frequently asked questions. That will give you a little more specifics about what this whole Genesis family at home thing is all about. You can also sign up. And you better sign up soon because our first week is September 13th. <gasps> That's next week. And parents, as always, if you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can email me anytime, day or night, at allyl at genesiscove.org. And I'll respond to your question at any time during a normal work day. I can't wait to Genesis family at home with you. Woohoo! So maybe all this fun and excitement calls for a dance party. But if it's ever gonna change, we gotta come together, me and you. Fun registering for Dennis's family at home, and I'll see you soon. But if it's ever gonna change, we gotta come together, me and you. Yeah, yeah, oh, 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 oh.